Okay, I've added three coats of epoxy primer on the door. It's sealed on the inside, it's sealed on the outside. Once I drop the skin in, I'll re epoxy the inside of the skin so it can all become one. Go from there. Gone over to the old door skin. I'm going to remove this piece here. Uh, that's for the mirror. Got to take this piece out, weld it onto the new piece. Uh, I don't understand. On the passenger side, GM screwed it. On this side, it's welded on. I don't know why they did it, they know, but that's that. Got to take it out, transfer it to the second skin. And what I've done is, on that second skin, I've taken a scuff pad and I've scuffed the inside of it so when I paint it, it's got something to adhere to. Okay, all I'm going to do to this panel now, put some holes. So when I weld it in place, I have some holes just like GM did. They didn't put too many in there. Put down here, watch your fingers, that will touch you. You see I got a hole there. Probably put another one there. I mean, I was looking at the one GM did. It went too crazy with it, so I'm going to do the same. I'm not going to go too crazy. Place that there. Bigger total of six on this side would probably be well. On the bottom. Put your fingers, that will pinch you. That's it. Do the same thing to the bottom and the other side. Now, when I fold this over, I got some holes to put a weld in there. Taking my piece that holds the mirror in place, as you can see, I've tack welded it into place. I use that clamp, light pressure, you don't want to put too much pressure on there, just to get into the new holes that I put in there. And what I also did, just to show you, put that bracket in there. Now that's the uh, bracket that holds the mirror in place. Put that in there so I can draw that steel in there. And uh, I use the clamp just slightly, just to hold it in place. Now that's all clamped up, and uh, I'll be able to size it up on the shell. Gone ahead, put the frame over the skin. I've already run into an issue. This here, it's gonna end up hitting. Unfortunately, the flange on the replacement skin here, probably half an inch. The factory flange here, close to an inch so this piece here for the mirror sat down as you can see and didn't interfere with our frame because it went all it just went down here now unfortunately as you can see where the paint goes we don't have that issue here we have uh, a little bit of a problem so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna peel it off I'm gonna zip that top portion off it's not a big deal just to hold the mirror in place and uh, the other issue I have it seems like the skin is pretty tight on this door frame I'm just hoping the frame is not uh, warped but uh, I do think that the skin came over a little smaller than what the factory piece was. It's not a big deal. It happens. I mean, I've done it before. It's not an issue. But this one seems like it's pretty tight. All right. So let me take this uh, frame off. I'll cut that down. I'll zip it down. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get under here so this can sit nice and flat up against there. And uh, once I cut it off, I'll get back in. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna place some seam sealer on a door, between the door and the skin. So, take a scotch pipe pad, just gonna lightly scuff the edges in. I'm doing this side and that. I'm doing the flange and the skin itself. Now, once I get that, take some cleaner, just wipe it down, just get rid of the dust residue. You know what, I'm in here just to wipe the whole panel down. 
they're all going to need paint on the inside, so. Now I'm having a little issue with the door. I don't know if the frame's twisted, but something's going on there. Attempt to put it on anyway. This is a to be an expensive attempt. If it doesn't go right, unfortunately, I'll, I'll lose the entire skin. I'll have to redo the door. But I'll take that chance. You can see that uh, it's not fitting correctly for some reason. I could grind it down, but remember the reason why I epoxied the door. I don't want to put all that uh, steel being shown through, but I may have to, I'm not sure. What I'm going to do is put a little seam sealer now. Just put a little bit. I don't want to kill it like that. I really don't want to do that, I'll be honest with you. Drop some in there. I'll go crazy with it. I'm gonna put a little seal. But if you go too crazy, it's gonna squirt out the other side, and when you go to well, you're gonna have a nightmare. Just put some of that in there. Get that little tab there. Do the same thing here. Got that tab that's back there. I didn't mean to put this much on there, I just happened to get it, so there you go, it's gonna go there. Like I said, I didn't mean to put that much on there, but I went for it, so it's there, it's there. Okay, I'll just give that a little flat here. What's happening here? I just don't want it to uh, get too crazy. Start going all over the place on the inside of the flange. Okay, like I said, like I said, I am having an issue with this door panel. Doesn't seem like it wants to fit. Seems like uh, for some reason this part of the panel is a lot smaller than the back half. Could be the frames bent. So I'll drop it in now. See if I can do this without uh, smacking the whole thing up. I mean, you got to give me an opportunity here. This door is kind of heavy, so see what I can get. See if I can do this without dropping the entire door. It's a pretty heavy door, so just give me a moment. Okay, look in here. Take the frame, drop it in place. Up. Okay. Just here. I like to squeeze that under there. Out of here, this only wants to come up a bit. This way, the mess comes in. Not in a hurry, the seal is not going to set, it's not going to hold it in place. What I am trying to do is just get the door more or less where it belongs. I'm going with the flange down here because remember, I had half inch from here to here on the original door. So I'm going to try to keep true with that half inch down here. Over here, I need to move it over here. Get a little bit of a soft face persuasion. Kick it over here. Now, what I'm looking for is an even gap here and there. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, get a tight gap up here. This here on the door, getting small, less than three eighths than I had on the other door originally. Right here, I had a quarter inch on the other door skin, I should say. And I'm not getting that here. It looks to me like the whole door is kind of cocked. So what I'll do?
come over here. So bring it up. Okay. Small hits. You don't want to kill. Yeah. Just tell me I got a pretty good gap on this side here. Fortunately, I'm dead nuts. Flush down there. So what do is these come up. That's it. That looks good. It looks as good as I'm gonna be able to get it on that side. Now like I said, here, I've almost got three eighths. Over there, I would like to see the quarter inch. That's what I had on a previous door, but I'm, I'm right there. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fold it over now. I'm gonna take the door. I'm gonna start folding over the edges, but I gotta be real careful. I don't wanna kill it. As I fold over these edges here, I'm gonna make sure I stay consistent. Not consistent, but I'm gonna stay pretty even with where I'm looking for. Because like I said, I need to be able to shift this if I have to. I'm not gonna tack that until I put it on the car. Because I wanna make sure the skin is fitting correctly. Unfortunately, or whatever reason, we're not getting a precise fit that the other panel was. But hey, that's what aftermarket's all about. All right, uh, let me set up. I get a hammer and stuff, and I'll start dollying uh, and uh, knocking over that flange.